Hold tight, for the geological community has some bad news to share. One of the most dangerous and well-known fault lines in the world, the San Andreas Fault, has just been declared by scientists to be on the verge of a catastrophic event. It begs the question, what might it be? Would this cause earthquakes? Will there be a time when mountains appear in the ocean? There is no way to know for sure, but when the San Andreas Fault begins to shift, everything changes. It's possible that the largest earthquake ever recorded is waiting just around the bend, so buckle up. Chapter about San Andreas Have you ever heard of the San Andreas Fault? You've probably heard the word before if you're from California or have traveled to the Golden State. But do you understand exactly what it is and why it matters so much? Throughout California, the San Andreas Fault stretches for almost 1,200 kilometers. Here, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate collide and grind against one another near the plate border. Massive slabs of rock, called tectonic plates, slowly drift around on the Earth's liquid mantle. What makes the San Andreas Fault so intriguing and a little dangerous is that it has been the epicenter of some of the largest and most devastating earthquakes in U.S. history. Earthquakes occur when the tremendous pressure created by the plates rubbing against one another is released. San Francisco and the surrounding area were severely damaged in the last major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault, which occurred in 1906. But the San Andreas Fault is not only a potential threat, it is also a scientific marvel. Fault research is conducted by geologists and other scientists to better understand and predict earthquakes. Scientists also use the fissure to learn more about the movement and evolution of Earth's tectonic plates over millions of years. You are standing on the San Andreas Fault, one of the most interesting and significant geological structures in the world the next time you feel the ground tremble in California. Chapter Earthquake Seismologists' worries that the San Andreas Fault will soon produce a devastating earthquake are well-founded. There are two enormous tectonic plates lurking just below the surface of the Earth, and the fault marks the boundary between them. More than 800 miles long, it reaches from north of San Francisco to almost south of San Diego in California. Due to their inert nature, these plates can accumulate significant pressures over time. As a result of their movement, powerful earthquakes can occur. This issue remains worrisome since it looks like numerous parts are under considerable stress. Thomas Jordan, director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, has reportedly indicated that the fault appears locked, loaded, and ready to go, and the Los Angeles Times reports that this is the case. According to Matthew Blackett, senior professor in physical geography and natural hazards at Coventry University in England, both plates along the fault are migrating north, but the Pacific plate is moving faster. There will be rising pressure as a result of this. There have been previous stress relief. Famous earthquakes in California include the 7.8 magnitude one that struck San Francisco Bay in 1906 and a 6.9 magnitude one that struck Loma Prieta on the central coast in 1989. An earthquake is possible because the current strains have not been relieved for years. Is a major earthquake likely and how likely is it to occur? The department head of geophysics at Colorado State University, Rick Astor, told Newsweek that there are several possible possibilities for major earthquakes up and down the San Andreas Fault System, some of which would have significant consequences in California. Big earthquakes on the San Andreas Fault System are a geological certainty, although the timing and frequency of individual earthquakes on the fault can vary widely across timescales of years to millennia. Probabilistic earthquake forecasting is therefore conceivable, but regrettably, the size, timing, and location of individual earthquakes cannot be predicted at this time. A 6.7 magnitude earthquake is expected to strike anywhere along the fault line over the next 30 years, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. It almost always happens in regions close to the border between states. The United States Geological Survey predicts a 10% likelihood of a powerful magnitude 6.7 earthquake in the San Francisco and Los Angeles regions during the next 30 years. It is difficult to predict whether a certain fault will slip tomorrow in 30 years or at any other period, despite the fact that some of these probabilities along particular faults are rather high, as Astor put it. 
The main reason for this is that scientists' understanding of the internal physical conditions of the Earth that regulate the behavior of fault systems is poor. Chapter: When an Earthquake Strikes, What Will Happen? The 2015 film San Andreas provides a visual depiction of what a devastating earthquake along the San Andreas Fault may look like. In the movie, a 9.0 magnitude earthquake is triggered by the fault, causing widespread damage in both San Francisco and Los Angeles. A tsunami results from the earthquake shaking. Blackett of Coventry University noted that the USGS has not revised its prediction that the fault will not produce an earthquake larger than 8.0. It was anticipated in 2008 by the U.S. Geological Survey what damage a 7.8 earthquake along the fault could create. Most of the damage would occur in the areas that sit on both sides of the fault, where $33 billion in repairs would be needed. Damage to gas mains would also result in widespread flames. The state of California, however, takes earthquake preparedness very seriously. Scientific and technological research on the issue is picking up speed. This would allow for the installation of early warning systems before the fault finally ruptures and causes a devastating quake. Chapter: Why is it happening? It is a significant geological fault that traverses the state of California, and it is the source of a number of the most devastating earthquakes in the annals of the state's history. But did you know that scientists believe the fault is due to another huge earthquake, one that might be extremely destructive to the region? The North American Plate and the Pacific Plate are separated by the San Andreas Fault, which acts as a barrier between the two tectonic plates. These plates are in a state of perpetual motion, and the area where they collide is a zone of intensive activity that has the potential to produce earthquakes because it passes through some of California's most densely populated places, including San Francisco and Los Angeles. The San Andreas Fault is one of the state's most hazardous geological features, what exactly leads scientists to believe that the San Andreas Fault will soon experience another significant earthquake is the next question. They have spent years researching the fault, and throughout that time, they have learned that it moves in a way that may be anticipated. The fault can be broken down into three portions, the northern section, the central section, and the southern section. The center segment is the most active of the three sections. In point of fact, it has been more than 160 years since the central area of the San Andreas Fault experienced a major earthquake, and the longer it goes without an earthquake, the higher the likelihood that a significant earthquake is building up. In a nutshell, the San Andreas Fault is a feature of the Earth's crust that is both intricate and prone to enormous amounts of seismic activity. In order to forecast and reduce the likelihood of earthquakes occurring in the region, it is essential to have a solid understanding of the various sections and how they behave. Yet it is not the only reason scientists are concerned about the situation. Other geological variables, such as the movement of other adjacent faults and the accumulation of stress caused by the movement of the tectonic plates, can also have an effect on the San Andreas Fault. This is especially true during times of high seismic activity. Any of these elements can contribute to an increased likelihood of a significant earthquake occurring in the region. So what exactly does this entail for people living in the state of California? So what does this mean? It tells us that we need to make sure that we are always ready for the likelihood of a devastating earthquake. We are unable to determine the precise time or location at which it will take place, but we are aware that it is a distinct probability. Because of this, it is essential to have a plan for dealing with emergencies and be ready in the event of a catastrophe. We can lessen the toll that a future earthquake has on our communities if we keep ourselves informed and take the necessary safety measures. Chapter Aftermath of a Major Earthquake The San Andreas Fault is one of the geological features that is considered to be among the most hazardous in the world. If a significant earthquake were to occur in this area, the results may be devastating. The earthquake could have such a high magnitude that it would cause widespread catastrophic damage and destruction over the state of California, resulting in a significant number of fatalities and material losses. To begin, there is a possibility that the shaking brought on by the earthquake would be very intense. Structures including buildings and bridges, along with other types of infrastructure, would either be badly damaged or completely destroyed. 
It is possible that people will be buried under the rubble and it will be difficult for emergency services to reach them. It is possible that roads and highways will be blocked, making it difficult to get people to safety or provide assistance to those who are in need. Chapter How to Be Safe There are measures you may take to safeguard yourself and your loved ones in the case of a big earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. Whenever an earthquake strikes, the first and most crucial step is to drop, cover, and hang on. When the quaking starts, get down low and tuck yourself under a solid piece of furniture. Be away from glass and other potential harmful sources that could break or fall. Anyone within a building that sustains significant earthquake damage should get out as quickly as possible. Go to a safe place as directed by local authorities. Tsunami warnings should prompt everyone near the coast to seek higher ground. After an earthquake, it's important to check for injuries and provide first aid if needed. Turn off the gas if you detect a gas odor or any other fire or electrical concerns. If you smell gas, use a flashlight instead of a lighter or matches. Having a supply of food, water, medicine and first aid gear on hand is also crucial in case of emergency. This kit should be stored in a readily accessible area. It's important to be ready for aftershocks, which might occur following an earthquake and pose a similar threat. Keep your wits about you and be prepared to take shelter in the event of another quake. In order to safeguard yourself, it is best to plan ahead. Get your family prepared for an earthquake by reviewing the building's evacuation plan and running through exercises. Remember, earthquakes can happen at any time, so it's important to be prepared. Take a few minutes to make a plan with your family and discuss what you would do in the event of an earthquake. Make sure you have an emergency kit with essential supplies, such as water, food, and first aid equipment, and keep it in an easily accessible location. By taking these steps, you can help ensure that you and your loved ones are as prepared as possible in the event of an earthquake. Don't wait until it's too late. Start preparing today. And also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this. Videos.